Hey guys and gals, I am back again with some more Stars and Stripes 2015 baseball. You can see back there is the box I just opened. I don't know if you watched that video yet, but if you did, you will, and if you look at the box, you'll see I was looking for Chris Bryant. I found him at the, towards the very end of opening packs, one base card. So what I've learned from this box is even though they have him plastered all over the box and the packs, it's not that easy to find him. There's lots of potential autos and game used and such. Uh, but, you know, as with anything, getting one player is not that easy. Although you would think it would be in a product like this, which is a smaller set size and just a smaller overall set size. I mean, inserts, parallels included. But it wasn't. What I, one thing I did learn that's a positive is this set has some really good familiar names such as Michael Conforto and Justice Sheffield and you're going to see a couple of others and you're going to be like, okay, all right, I know this guy. So it's not all bad. Obviously, I'm, t I'm speaking like I'm already dead in the water when we still have this whole box to go, but we'll see. It, it looked pretty, pretty bleak in that first round. <laughs> I got that. Uh, there was how many? Four or five hits, and three of them were Chris Oakey. Chris Oakey was all throughout that box. So I'm hoping that I've seen all I'm going to see of Chris Oakey for tonight. I mean, I'm sure I'll see his base card here, but I, that's good enough. We can see. I'm Chris Oakey'd out. So, oh yeah, here was one Henry Owens. So you're going to see, you know, some pretty good guys here, and that's nice. So Dylan Tate, that's good. Courtney Hawkins. Oh, there's Chris Oakey. And then uh, in each pack, you get one of these non-foil cards. Here's Luke and Baker. One of my other hits in the other box was was him. I think that's a hit, so I'm gonna leave that alone for a minute. Seemed like jersey cards were pretty easy to get. Autos not so much. Bradley Zimmer, a familiar name. Another one, Matt Olson. Lucas Sims. Oh sweet, a Trey Turner. Longevity red. To 199. There we go. I have to get it just in the right light here, because the the full is so dark on here. But that's nice to 199. I don't recall even seeing even one of his base cards in the first box, so that's kind of a surprise. And Jacob Bloss Blass. Yeah, it's really interesting. I didn't even get one of his base cards. Craziness. Devin Marrero. Cordell Dunn Jr. Carlos Rodon. Another red longevity parallel of Nicholas Banks. And a Hunter Green. I think that's another jersey, probably. This might be as well. We'll see. Blake Swihart. Austin Smith. Hey, Alex Bregman. I didn't get one of him in the last box either. So these really are pretty <laughs> more varied than you would think. Sweet. Oh, Trey Turner. Please let this be an auto. And it is to 25. Yes. Look how nice that is. It is not Chris Bryant, but it is still very nice. I've got to go ahead and sleeve that. These light, thin, full cards are so delicate. Look at that, guys, to 25. That is sweet. Very, very nice. And a Christopher Martin. Well, this box is made. If we can get a Chris Bryant anything. 
or a Conforto or any other recognizable guy. Uh, Kale Bro, Bro, Broche, Broche, I don't know. Uh, Jake Lamont, Eric Fed, Fetty, a Luca Sims Crusade. These are not numbered. They look good. And Doug Nikhazy. Then we have Devin Ortiz. Corey Seeger. He was not in the last box either. Wow. That's crazy. I'll take it. Carson Fulmer and Matt Olson Crusade. And Eli Marrero. That's nuts. I can't believe that. It was such a small, I think it's just a hundred card set size. So you then there were repeats in box one of Conforto, and I haven't seen a Conforto this time around. Hmm. Very interesting, Panini. Daz Cameron, Cole Tucker, Brian Reynolds, Blake Rutherford, and Bryce Terrain. Alright, we're down to the last three packs here. And we have Blake Trahan, Trahan, Bailey Ober, Lucas Herbert, and a Bryce Terrain Game Gear to two ninety nine. Get this in some light. See the red longevity there at the bottom? Really tough to see in this light. And the last card was a Justice Sheffield. Two more. Hopefully one of these is another auto. And not, they're both thick. But one could be, you know, game used and auto. So, Kobe Allard. James Tallion. Oh, Jameson Tallion. Gray Finter and a John Darth. This is just a plain game gear to two ninety nine. And a Kyle Funkhauser and trash. And our final pack. So here we haven't seen Chris Bryant again. Nothing. I feel like this is some false advertisement. <laughs> Cabrian Hayes, James Caprillion, Francisco Lindor, and Bradley Zimmer. That's not bad. Not ink, but oh, and there's David Dahl, which I didn't even know was in this set either. So, wow, this is uh, this has definitely been a a very interesting product to say the least it really kind of kept you guessing it's not predictable at all i kind of wish i had a couple of more boxes so that i could i feel like i'd need to open them to solve the the riddle the mystery of the stars and stripes but that's all i've got for now and i'm not sure i'm gonna go again although there is no denying that this little piece right here was sweet I don't know if it's sweet enough for me to buy more of this, but I don't know. There's lots of big names in here, so maybe. Right now it's on sale. I'll go back and see what it what I paid for it and just how much on sale it actually is and go from there. Okay, I'm going to sleeve this up, wrap this up, and then I'm going to show you what I've got next. I am super stoked about these two. These are both hobby boxes. Of course, they're quick breaks because you don't get a ton of packs and cards in there but they're fine because they're absolutely loaded with hit after hit so i'm going to take care of that please check out the links below for shopping social media if you want to just reach out to me you can comment below or email me at gametimecardshop at gmail.com that's it for now i'll be back in just a few